Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 53, verse 3. He is despised and rejected among men. A man of sorrow and acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our face from him. He was despised and rejected and we esteemed him not. I like to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Shemel Shah by Shemel Kankodash. The Wadi Yahweh Shemel Shah for giving us the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who deserve double honors rightfully so. Shalom on to the Aki and push the word of sincerity and truth for being faith based and being prepared for what is to come. And what is to come? Race wars, famine, concentration camps, for all of our deed, check the mark of the beast. 200 million missiles in the soils of America. Simultaneously, the chariots of the Lord lift up the hopeful left into the chambers. Simultaneously, the chariots of the Lord shoot laser beams at the ungodly and the heathens. Rightfully so. I'll provide this out of the Lord take the course of this video. I'm just the best from seeking salvation out of this filthy place, the spirit you know the Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt, Babylon, and all the other filthy customs that it's taken upon. And, um, just, um, trying to get one in before I'm getting on the road. Um, time is 9.05 a.m. 7.15, July 15, 2023. The whole year all prophecies come to pass and things is on this course. The Wadi Yabba Shemel Shah for, um, for bestowing this righteousness. The Wadi Yahweh for bestowing Yahweh Shah upon us. And the Wadi Yabba Shemel Shah for giving us the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Okay. Which is a great order, which is which is beautiful. How is how is being how how this is being bestowed upon us. So just wanted to throw that out there. So um, so lot like, yeah, um, So I was up uh, just looking up verses and you know just sitting here meditating. You know, so let me get this one. So the, the headlines of this chapter of Isaiah chapter fifty three is the suffering servant the suffering servant Yahweh Shah the suffering servant who suffer all our iniquities you know of you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans even we know that and um who uh who's coming back for that remnant of us so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans which we are from, we are, we are, our original name is Israel, Yashala, Prince of the Power. And our great king is coming back for us. And he's not coming to meet you as a man, Yashala. He's coming in this angelic, powerful body, powerful with an with a army. Oh, that's treason. Are you talking, what, what is that? Um, I think it's treason. You talk about another army coming down upon a, a um, to us and taking us, taking us captive. Well, you did it to us. Remember, um, the seas of um, um, seventy A.D. When you seized Jerusalem, you brought an army. You have a, you are, we are POWs, prisoners of war. So, just saying that. saying that and just um just thinking about um what needs to be done for us to uh get this gloriousness he got to come back man and we have to know that you know we have to we have to um think of all the things we did wrong we sinned and we did not um give the glory to our king when he was here at that moment but now we are back in full effect man full effect all right we are not hating we're not hiding our face we are loving his appearing and we're gonna love his appearing all right so lucky i just thought of a verse let me see if i can find that love is appearing bible verse Let 
We're gonna love as a parent, and he's gonna be glorious, man. Let's go to reverse. Alright. You know, just rolling in the spirit and just, you know, holy conversation. And um, you know, I just wanna get one in before I get on the road. I was you know, you know how you just uh you know do a lot of meditating. Just hope and pray the Lord give you one. Um so our job right now is to preach the word. That's the headline of Second Timothy chapter four. Preach the word. So I like I love I love um um when I get the Wadi Yabba Shimei Shah for the apostles of Great Millstone, from Pastor Hall, Pastor Kabar, Pastor McCall, Pastor Ramla, and the elder brothers in Connecticut, and you know it was um for them putting the footwork in in the spirit of Yabba Shimei Shah because. We got a lot of information. And the blue letter is very powerful. It might go off here and there, but it's still it's still a great tool to use. So it says preach the word. You know? And that's what we're doing. Um, it says, um just gonna read this first verse here. It says Charge. Yeah. I charge thee therefore before Yahweh and our other one, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Yahweh Shah is gonna come back. He's gonna um we know we're gonna go into the word charge real fast. Because it's all about worshiping the Father and the King, you know. So that's what we're doing here. You know, every time I do, I think about, I think I meditate, I think about Yahweh Shem Shah. Right. Um. All right. This is the word for um charge. Strong's G twelve sixty three. Diamar Turamai. Diamar all my tutamai. That's Greek. So it says um, to testify it's earnestly, rig rigorous, rigorously, religiously. I mean, religiously, Salaki. Like religiously to charge. To um, attest, testify to, solemnly affirm, to give solemn testimony to one, to confirm a thing by test testimony, to testify cause to be, to, to cause it to be believed, and that's what we're doing right now. We, we, we out here with our report, man, and who's gonna believe us? The the hopeful elect. Okay, who's gonna believe that our king is coming back to take his earth back? You people, you um, from Esau, Moab, Ammon, Ishmael, uh, Ham, y'all didn't make the earth. The one that made you is coming back for what's his, and you belong to him too. Okay, and that's the report our, our apostles have set upon us. Let's go back. The suffering, the suffering servant has come back. Yeah, he, Yahweh Shaz, that suffering. He suffered for all of us. Who, Isaiah chapter 53, verse 1. Who has believed our report? And whom and to whom is the arm of our our of the Lord Yahweh revealed? He's revealed to the whole for elect. And he's revealed to everyone. Because everybody's gonna know. When he when he cracked those skies, Shanetta, you're gonna know. You ain't gonna hide. Oh, where am I gonna go? No way to go, buddy. Okay, he's gonna reveal. He's coming back. He's gonna practice scouts. We're just telling you what's happening. We we just telling you before it happens. That's the report we reporting. Let's go into the word report. We the reporter. We um we forecasting the. We we tell you before the um, rain come. And the rain of the king. Report. Give a spoken or written account 
of something that one has observed, heard, done in investigate or investigate the minister report a decline in no yeah the minister report in a decline of production now this is one of the um but the first one of this investigation that's been going on so we've been reporting it we've been investigating you now you know what you've been what's up Huh? The NLT translation. Who has believed our message? The elected. That's the question. Who? The elected. The elect is real, man. If they got this, if they got um the non-elect, right? <laughs> they gotta have the elected. Why are we gonna have a word if it's not real? To whom has the Lord revealed His powerful arm? To the whole foot. To um Yahweh He revealed it to the elect. And they coming, man. Yahusha is coming back with Michael behind him, the rest of the angels. They come back for the earth and you as a possession. It's gonna be glorious, man. So, uh, let's go back here real fast. So we earnestly a religious to change. Yeah, we, that's what that's what this word. Um. Uh, charge me so yeah and it says um just wanted to read that verse and I had another verse I wanted to read I'm gonna go down to the point my point was eight all right so yeah and this is what we doing um this we're gonna start right here we're gonna start at second Timothy chapter 4 verse 7 we could put we we have fought a good fight. We are, you know, you know, if you um, you know, nowadays us, let's read it normally. All right, I have I have fought a good fight of faith, finished my course, and that's our that's our mission. We know our mission ain't complete yet, but this is what we hoping for. I have kept the faith, and we want to keep the faith in y'all by showing our shot. Henceforth. This is right, verse 8. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. And that's what we, that we want. The crown of righteousness is what Yahweh Shah is going to give us. Which the Lord, Yahweh, which the Lord, I don't want the righteous judge shall give us at that day. Because this time when um, this was being um, said, he didn't get his crown. Okay. But we're gonna get our crown, man. I brought this out. This is the time when this is the end time. So give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them that love his appearing. We're gonna love his appearing. I'm telling you, he's gonna pop it out. He's gonna come out. I'm signing that up. What are you gonna do then? Then you gonna hide? Oh, oh, they they were right, and you ain't gonna get no crown, buddy, because you um, I think you Simeon. Right, I think you Dominican. You ain't get no crown. That was your shine coming to save you. Only you better repent, buddy. All right. There's a lot I want to see. I see this in um. This is the NLT, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, Second Timothy chapter four verse eight. This is the point. And now the prize await me, the crown of righteousness, which the Lord I would I don't want Yahweh Yah Yah the righteous judge will give. This he became the righteous judge because he suffered all our affliction, which will give. I mean, will give me on that day of his return. His return, buddy, and the prize. And the prize is not just for me, but for all who eager, right? Eagerly. Maybe I'm saying that wrong. So I... Eagerly. Yeah. Eager look forward to his appearance. That was another verse. Oh, that was it. It was another verse. Yeah. 
Oh. Um, yeah, so this is what we're looking forward to. His appearance, him coming back, getting us up out of the hands of our shots. You understand? Get out of the hands of our shots. Okay, so let's go back here real fast. I think, it was here. I, think I saw another verse I want. The suffering king. Alright. And we're gonna we're gonna this time we're gonna we're gonna steam him. We're gonna put him on top. He's gonna, he's already on top right now. Alright? He's on top, he's sitting right there on the right hand side of Yahweh. And that's what it says in Hebrews. It was Hebrews chapter five, maybe eight. Maybe one. I think it was one. Yeah. He says, um, um, Hebrews chapter one, verse three, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person. And upholding all the all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the mat of majesty on high. Majesty. And the majesty is Yahweh. He's sitting right there. Waiting to get back because you're how going to sing your shot back, man. Being made, being made such more better than the angels as he had been by heritage obtained a more excellent name than they. Right? That's your house shot. He delivers. That's a righteous name. That's the ultimate name. You're done. We're going, when he get back, man, he coming back. He can come back by himself, and he's not going. You're not going to be able to, to be able to stand, to be able to stand there and take to do anything. You understand? Let me see something. Something else jumping in my mind. Blast of, blast of fire, apocrypha. That's you, Joshua, and the rest of you. That's you. That's you. What's that? That's um Second Ezra chapter thirteen, verse. That's you. Oh, oh, oh. That's you, Joshua. You gonna get cooked. You gonna get my king, the king and the angels. I'm gonna cook you. You're done. Finito, basura. Salah. Thirteen and ten. All right, just get to a little point where he's gonna get back to do. He's not gonna meet you as a man. Because you're going to be down here already messed. The earth is already messed up because of you. Everything all jacked up because of you. So he got he to come back and stop you. All right? Because you're going to be over there in the, in the valley of Jehoshaphat. Um, spreading each other's blood. World War Three is going to be happening. When he cracked his skies, son, it's going to be all types of things going down simultaneously. War going to be everywhere. It's going to be all types of death and mayhem. You know, what he said is the fire's going to be already kindled when he get back. Okay. I'm just going to read a little bit of this. It says, um, it says, um, um, this is 2nd Ezra chapter 
Psalm chapter 13, verse 8. And after and after these I beheld, and lo, and all they which were gathered together to subdue him were so afraid, and yet does fight. He's gonna put that spirit on you to fight him, on Joshua. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lift his hand nor held sword. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna need nothing. They gonna have laser beams for you. Nor held sword, nor any instrument of war. He gonna get the angelic power, Ashashu. Well, you ain't got none of that. Well, Ashashu, what y'all shot got? You ain't got none of that. But only I saw. But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue. Those are laser beams. He cast out sparks and tempers. <laughs> You're done. All right, he's coming back to boss you up. Okay. Uh, and, and they were all mixed together. The blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest. And fell with violence upon and fell and fell with violence upon the multitude that which which were prepared to fight and burnt them up every one so that upon the as sudden sudden of the inch um, the innumerable multitude nothing was to be perceived but only dust and small and smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid. Even Ezra was afraid. Oh man. But he was not down with that fire getting cooked. He was over there on the other side. Probably was in the chariots. Ezra was getting out of here. You are Shashua on the other hand is not getting out of here. You, Moab, is not getting up out of here. And whatever's left here is gonna go in chains. You're going, you're going, we're going to put chains around your neck, chains around your ankle. You're going to have a humpback because you're not going to have straight chains. You ain't going to be living the life. You're going to be walking with a humpback. You're done. You're finito. Okay. So lock it. I, I know I started with that verse. But you, who going to believe it? Let's go back to this. The suffering servant is coming back as an angelic force. You're not going to be able to do nothing with him. I'm Joshua. Who had Isaiah chapter 51, chapter 53, verse 1? Who has believed our report? The elect has believed your report. And whom is the and who and to whom is the arm of Yahweh revealed? Uh, who? To the to the hopeful elect. He's coming back, man. That's the this the ultimate report of the suffering servant. The su Yahweh Shah, the suffering servant, return. Okay. We sick of this place. We sick of looking at you. Sick of looking at our people all in this in this disgruntled madness. You know, the only way out is through is through Yahweh Shah. You know? Hey, uh, let's read this. We're gonna end it with this one. Just wanted to get one in. So I, yeah. I told you to come at the boss you up, Ashashi. Well, damn wait too, man. It's gonna be blind dynamic. Alright, we gonna we gonna we, we we um investigating you right now. You're under investigation and everything's gonna um happen to you. Right in front of all the other nations' eyes. We're gonna boss you up and they're gonna realize they all messed up. Cause they're gonna remember what they did wrong too. Alright. I just want to get to the point. Isaiah chapter 47, verse 3. Thy naked, I told you you're going to be you're under investigation. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. That's all this, the, everything going to be seen. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. And I will take vengeance. And I will not 
and I will not meet thee as a man. He's not coming back to meet you to, as a man. He, he, no, you, you got him the last time. When he was y'all shy, you whooped him, you ripped his flesh up. Not this time. And as for our and as for our redeemer, Yahweh our Shah of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Boom, Yahshua Allah. It's about to happen. You're done. You're not sharing this gloriousness. When the two thirds come back, they're gonna get their glory. They're gonna have their glory. They're gonna they're gonna be ashamed of themselves. But right now, even the two thirds is not getting none of this Ash Joshua. Let alone, let alone you. No. Let alone you. So that was just a quick one. Just in the spirit. I'd like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh Shemel Shah, Bashim Kakwadash. The Wadi Yahweh Shemel Shah, forgiveness of apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Akim. Shalom.